My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a hot looking little 32 Ford three window coupe right here. Done up beautifully, even underneath the car. It's got a Jaguar independent rear end, air conditioning. It's a hot little number. Visit volocars.com and you can see all the pictures top to bottom. Read all the specs, get the price. Not only in this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, I got a lot to tell you about this 32. Join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, called a high boy because it sits up on top. The frame sits high. That's why they're nicknamed high boys. And underneath this car is beautiful. The entire front end steering, suspension, chrome, the, the transverse spring, the shocks, the tubular dropped axle, the trailing arms, all the steering bars. It's all chromed. It's got disc brakes with billet calipers, a billet uh, cover, uh, backing plates, I think they call it. You look up at the motor, it looks spotless, all chrome oil pan, chrome inspection cover. Uh, it's got a mini high torque starter. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic that's in there, and it has a nice uh, pan. It also has an external finned uh, oil cooler. Uh, the fuel system, there's electric Holly fuel pump, filter, all the premium fittings, all new lines. That's real nice. Uh, and the rear end, like I said, look at the pictures on our website. It's really cool. It's an independent suspension. Again, all chrome tubular supports and brackets and control arms. Uh, the axle tubes and the rear end is, uh, looks like it's polished aluminum and has a really cool chromed uh, rear end cover, thin cover on the rear end. That has inboard disc brakes. That means they're not out at the wheel, they're inboard. Uh, Willwood billet uh, master cylinder underneath there has rack and pinion steering. Uh, it's got a really nice exhaust system, which you'll hear in a few minutes. The bottom of the car is just as slick red as the body itself, the frame, uh, the floors, and then you got all this chrome. It's just a really well built car. I bought this from an individual. It was his pride and joy. It does come with a folder full of paperwork. It's a car you can get in and drive. It's dialed in. Uh, it's a Gibbons body. It's a real good body. Uh, of course, it's a three window, chopped roof, suicide doors. It's slick red paint, really cool flame job. Uh, they did a fantastic job with that. The body's real nice. Uh, they put the vinyl insert on top to make it look uh, authentic. The old cars to save money instead of making them all metal, they put the vinyl insert. So this is fiberglass, but they duplicated that look. It's got some very highly polished uh, wheels, obviously much bigger and fatter in back. They're American racing with the spinners. It has some nice uh, flush mount tail lights with billet bezels and some really cool old school uh, pinstriping. I just noticed it's the same colors that are used in the flames. It's got mirrors on both sides. It does have a remote to open the door. I'm cheating, I'm just reaching in. And it also has underneath the car, there are some remote battery terminals and there is a button or a cable you can pull if you ever locked yourself out of the car. Uh, sport leather seats, genuine leather, very comfortable. I just drove the car in here. And the whole inside of the cab, the ceiling, the door panels, behind the seats, it's all upholstered in the same colors. It's got seat belts. It's got a little overhead console for the uh, stereo. Uh, it has Sirius satellite or XM satellite. Uh, it's got a little mini console around the floor shifter with an eight ball, power windows, uh, vintage air controls. The vents are neatly built into this billet instrument panel as a match set of VDO gauges. Speakers are behind the upholstery. As a power lift trunk. 
Is it opening? I can't see if I'm holding it the right way. There it goes. I couldn't see. All new smoked glass. It also has some deadbolt uh, locks in here. When you're in the car, you deadbolt it so the doors don't accidentally fly open. And this is, of course, all upholstered real nicely. I'm assuming the battery is behind there. That's where you fill the gas. And uh, yeah, it just looks like new in, in here. Nice polished tilt column. All the levers and knobs are real nice. They all match. It's got a leather-wrapped steering wheel that matches the seats. I didn't mention it's got seat belts. I haven't opened this hood yet myself. Hopefully I can figure it out here. There we go. It's all painted slick red in here. And brand new, it's a 327 motor, completely rebuilt 1,500 miles ago. It's been balanced, it's been bored, it's been Magnaflux, it's been decked. Uh, it's got a thumper cam, and he put a $2,700 new tri-power setup on there. Uh, aluminum intake, chrome-plated carburetors. Uh, they're dialed in, running really well. The air conditioning compressor is polished, the alternator is polished. It has 327 valve covers. Plug wires are run neatly. It's an MSD ignition system. Uh, electric fan on an aluminum radiator. It's got a chrome coil. It's got a nice fancy braided dipstick tube going to the transmission. So why don't we fire it up? It's got a, a gear drive. It is cold outside, so we're pulling these cars in cold, and I don't want to let it run too long in this little room. So it runs fine, just a little cold-blooded. A 12 volt receptacle in here to plug in your phone charger. Uh, also has a gear drive instead of the timing chain. That's why it sounds like there's a blower on there. And has some really nice headlights with the turn signals built right into it. Uh, the trunk does function. I forgot to hit the switch, so don't worry about that. Got a cool looking 32 coupe right here. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific concerns or questions, they can help you with that. They can also help with the financing, delivery, uh, paperwork. That's at volocars.com is where you get started. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.